This is question 3 from the 2008 non-calculator paper. Here are the ages and years of 15 teachers. We're given some numbers here. Draw an ordered stem and leaf diagram to show this information. You must include a key. So first off, um, I need to put each of these numbers into this stem and leaf diagram by breaking them down into their tens and units. Um, when we're doing this, notice that it says ordered. So that means that I need to start with the smallest number there. So my smallest number there that I can see is going to be 23. Then go up to the next one. Next one, again, just breaking that down. Two tens down this side, units down this side. 23, then 27. Notice that I'm crossing these off as I go as well. It just helps me to know that I've included all my answers, which is what I get one of the marks for. Then next ones are in the 30s. So next one up I can see is 31 then 35 then 36 are there any more in the 30s? not that I can see then next up I've got the 40s so 41 then 42 41 then 42 then oh I've missed one here and this is why it's good to cross these out as we go here we've got 34 so let's just quickly put that one in back up there. Um, then, so where were we? 42, 44. Uh, we've got two 45s. And that's it. Then, then the 50s. So, got 50, got 52 and then 53 so that's all of my numbers in there then the key all that I need to do for the key is show what this table actually means so for example I usually select the first number and so 2 and then that line down the middle there then 3 that is representing the number 23 so quickly talk about what you get your marks for here your marks come from first of all making sure that you've got a key that is worth one mark then um, so let's use orange here one mark for that then the second part is making sure that all of the numbers that are here are included in your um, in your diagram and that you've that you've got the right format and then lastly that all of the numbers are in order for your third mark couple of tips here a nice thing to do to make sure that all of the numbers have been included is to count up the numbers that are in your stem and leaf diagram. Note here that it says 15 teachers. Well, that means that we need 15 numbers in this part of our stem and leaf diagram. So let's quickly count up now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, I've included all of them, so that means I definitely pick up that mark. Okay. Next up, um, if you've got that question incorrect, then pause the video now and attempt this question. If you got it right, then move on to the next video. Sean plays golf. Here are the scores from his previous seven rounds. 98, 84, 89, 93, 101, 98 and 93. Put this information into a stem and leaf diagram. So again, doing exactly what we did last time. We're going to start with the 80s. So our lowest first, 84. Crossing off as we go, 89. Then next up, the 90s, 93. 93 again. Then 95. And 98. And then lastly, 101. So, <clears throat> let's quickly make a check that we've included all our numbers. We've got seven rounds apparently seven numbers we should so one two three four five six seven yep I've got them all included next up the key well again I just usually select the first number and say that that is eight and then that line there going down the middle and four is equivalent to eighty four then there are kind of a couple of bonus questions here that you can have a go at what was the modal score mode just means the most common score well we can see here that ninety three 
was a modal score. Remember, you're not going to write down 3 here because that 3 represents 93, as does this one. So your modal score will be 93. The median would be the number that's in the middle. So here we can close the curtains and cross off one from each side and keep doing that till we find the one in the middle. So cross off another one and cross another, another one and then another one. And we can see that our median score is the same number, 9. And so that 3 there represents 93. And in this case, our median was the same as our mode, 93.